and you're gonna start with a rounded back over. We're gonna come up to our knees, and then stand all the way up. Your right hand crosses to your left shoulder, your left hand crosses to your right shoulder, then you pull them apart, and you release your right arm out with your palm up. So let's try that again. So we go round back, seven, eight, we go knees. Stand, right, left, open, extend, and look. From here, I wrote toss a coin in my choreography book because we are tossing a coin. So our right arm is extended, we're looking towards that palm. We toss the coin, follow the arm until it frames your face, okay? And from you framing your face, you pull up to your chest. My right hand's on my chest, my left hand is kind of on my, where my belly button is. Okay, so let's run that back from the top. We're here, flat back, we go knees. Up, cross to your left, cross to your right. Open, extend, look to your right. Toss your coin, frame your face, plie chest, belly button. Kinda? Should we try that with music? Five, six, seven, eight, knees. Stand, cross, cross, open, arm, toss. Frame, lay up. Okay? Immediately after you lift, you step right, and then your left foot's gonna cross in front when your arms drop. Okay? So we went step right, cross, left. We're doing a chene, which you should know, people. Yeah? A chene, and then you press down with your palms. A little bit of drama. Okay? So we're here. Step right, cross left, sha, ne, push down. My left foot is up on a nice demi point. I'm gonna open across and open up to the ceiling with my left arm. So one more time, you hit push, left arm threads and opens, and then we push back down with our palms. Okay, from here, you really have to squeeze your booty because you're gonna fall over if you don't.
stays on the floor, hence the name drag. It drags along the floor. Your left arm is gonna shoot up so soft and pretty, and you're stepping onto your right foot. So I just stood up, I'm going drag, I'm stepping left foot across, turning over my right shoulder to a nice tendu. This is gonna prepare you for a chene pique moving that way. We go chene pique. Here, your lame duck has two steps. One, front knees bent, back leg is straight, arms are in third. This extended leg, you step onto it and you turn up, okay? So I went buff, buff, through. That is your lame duck. It's gonna be parallel in a plie, and you go all the way down. So if you're falling out of your turns, that's okay, because it's a choreograph in the dance. Drag, step on, do shine, pique, lame duck, plie, and melt. Good. Okay, so as you can tell, that step up turn is kind of tricky. There's been a lot of takes where I've been falling out of it. Um, I've told you guys, I'll be totally honest, I'm not a huge turner, but my tip for that turn is to be able to find your center to pull up and plie with a nice cushion. It'll give you more grounding than if you were to land with a straight leg, okay? So you turn out of that, you plie land, and you drop your arms, and then you swing up to the sides next to you. From here, my left leg shoots out as my right arm frames my face. You jump to switch, jump, switch. So one more time, I did the turn, plie, arms release, reach up, tendu left, frame right, arms, switch. From here, I'm ready to lift my right leg, it does an inside fan, so it goes from the diagonal, fans across to the other diagonal, left arm goes high, seven, and fan, step. From chasse to the right, chasse, step, and tendu over. So I have my weight in my right foot. My left arm is going up and over. So let's bring it back. Okay friends, so we did our little turn sequence across, our chene pique, our step up. You land in a gorgeous plie parallel. You go down to up, tendu left, switch right. From here, stand, drive, step, tendu, shunning, pique, step, up, plie, release, up, frame, frame, tendu. dancing with me you guys with the music first and then I'm gonna break them down.
Okay, guys, first move, we're going to lift each knee two times. So I want you to start with the knee slightly bent. Uh, shift the weight onto your left leg. Right knee will go up two times. Up, down, up. Then we're going to shift weight onto the right foot. Left is free to move. We're going to lift it twice. Up, down, up. Let's try to do it for the full eight count, starting with right knee. Five, six, seven, here we go. One, two, three, four, right knee. Five, six, seven, eight. Remember, you don't have straight legs. You're not standing on the straight leg. It's going to be hard to balance, like you just saw. Knees are slightly bent, and then you can stay on the same level. Up, 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 up. We're going to add a knee bend, so we're going to be dropping the body every single time the foot goes up, so we have a little bounce with it. Um, so if we are lifting right foot, you're going to bend the standing knee, the standing leg. So left knee will go forward two times. You see how I just brought my body down on the same exact beat at the very same time as you're lifting right foot. Let's try it again. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Then shift weight onto your right leg. Left is free to move. We're going to be bending right knee. Left knee will be coming up two times. Up, down, up. Notice what happens after uh, I lift the knee and bend the right knee. I reset, so I come back to straight position, straight legs, and I do it again on the same side, okay? Let's try it from the right side. One, two, switch. One, two, switch. One, two, I'm counting the knees up. One, two, and again. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. All right, let me face you. We'll try it again. Same tempo, nice and slow. Five, six, seven, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. One, two. Um, notice that I'm not lifting the knee all the way up. It's not 90 degree angle. The knee just goes up a little bit. The foot stays fairly near to the floor. Um, just because we'll be doing this much faster and you won't be able to do huge moves um, and keep the rhythm at the same time, okay? To this motion, we'll add the arms. Every single time the knee comes up, both arms will be straightening down. So your starting position will be arms bent, elbows loosely by your sides, and give me loose fists. And then every time you uh, lift the leg, we're going to do the opposite action with the arms. So it's going to look something like this, slow. One, two, and another side, same arms. One, two, one, two, one, two. Let me show you sideways, five, six, seven, slow. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and now we have to connect it with our knee bend, with our bounce. So it's three different things at the same time. Let's try very, very slowly. Five, six, seven, here we go. One, two, one, two, one, two, and one, two. Uh, to make this movement look a little bit better, um, I want you to bend the or round up the torso a little bit. So we shouldn't be very like, straight up. So round up the shoulders, you're very relaxed, the upper body is loose. You can even lean forward a little bit if you want. This will look better than this. Even if you're doing everything correctly, but your torso is super stiff, well, this is not the look we're going for. So give me a little slouch and this makes the movement look so much better. Five, six, seven, eight. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, moving on to the next one. In this next movement, we're going to be shifting on the heels and the toes. So we're going to first uh, get the feet in, the, in this position, facing straight. And then as you're turning the body to the right, you're going to end up 
with right foot being on the heel, left foot being on the toes. Come back, keep the movement very, very small. It's a little bit of balancing involved, so be patient with it. Again, five, six, seven, we're gonna go. One, two, three, four, and then rest. Let's try the same thing on the other side. So now we're going to switch everything. Uh, before, it was right heel when we're turning to the right. So now, since we're turning to the left, the foot will get onto the left heel and right toes. One foot is always on the toe, one foot is always on the heel. Uh, so this will help you remember the movement. Let's try it with the turn to the left. Left foot will be on the heel, right foot will be on the toe and you want to try and do it at the same time. Don't do what I just did, not this, but boom. One motion, add a little bit of energy, turn the body to face the corner. Let's try it, slow again. Side, middle, side, middle, side, middle, and turn, middle. What else you have to remember here is that you don't want to lift the heel and the toe really far. It's not about how high you can get them off the floor. It's actually the smaller the lift, the better, as long as it's visible a little bit. We're going to now try and mix the sides. Uh, to keep it a little bit easier, we'll stick to two repetitions on each side. So starting to the right, we have one, two. Then we're going to switch to the other side. Bam, bam, and again, one, two, and switch, one, two. Notice that every single time afterwards, you want to come back to the middle position and try to keep the feet close to each other. Don't let them separate too much because it will be harder to pivot. We're not going to add anything with the torso and the arms. The torso will twist naturally because this is where your feet are taking it. Um, so we're not going to do anything extra there. And for the arms, maybe just keep them slightly bent by your sides just to, um, you know, make the movement look a little bit better, just to have more balance. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, back, front, back, bounce, bounce, back, front, back, bounce, bounce. On the bouncing part, um, of course, you're bending the knees. You can give me something with the arms, whatever you want. It can be a bend, it can be cross open, it can be a roll, anything you're feeling, your own arm movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, bounce, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, three, four, five, and six, seven, eight. All right, you guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. And this bounce is like an up and down feel, yeah? Up, yeah? Yeah. And then with this bounce, you can do simple movements with your feet that will, you know, be house steps. So basically, we have the cross, step, step, cross, step, step. So you're gonna cross with your right leg over, and then place over your left, and then step back with your right, to cross over with your left, to place over your right, and then step back with your left. And then you wanna go one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one. Okay? But now the challenge here is to do it with the bounce. Cool? So you wanna go one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight, and one. Similar to the one we did a couple of weeks back, which is the st uh, step touch, but you're gonna turn your body this time. So you're stepping over with the right, bring the arms back. So we're gonna bring it back here, and then we're gonna cross, okay? Right leg goes one, two. 
Yeah, and then go to the other side. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, one more time. Remember, you're starting with the right leg here, left leg in, left, right, right, left, left, right. Good, so throughout this uh, time that I'm doing this, I don't lose the bounce. Yeah, I'm constantly bouncing, so you don't want to be stiff like this. Make sure you bend your knees. One, down, hit, down, hit, down, hit, down. Good, let's try again. Five, six, right leg. Five, six, seven, eight, go right, left, left, right, right, left, left, right. Good, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good, let's see if we can put the two together. So right from the top, side to side, bending the knees, arms go out first, and then they cross. Six, step, starting with the right leg, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Let's do that again. Here we go. Five, six, eight. Step one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. So, one thing you want to remember it's not so much about just doing the steps. You want to do it and you want to make sure you put a little flavor to it, okay? So, you got to bounce. You got to keep this bounce. So if you're doing it and you're looking in the mirror and you look like something like this, make sure you bounce, yeah? Work on this before anything else. And then use that same vibe when you step to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's go back to the top. Let's try it again. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, good. Last step, step number three. We're gonna move over to the right, two steps. Throw the arm out, yeah, you're gonna go. One, you're also leaning forward. One, pull, two, three, four. Good, so what I'm doing is I'm stepping out with the right leg, and I'm kinda just dragging the left leg over, and once they connect, I bend my knees. So, boom, down, hit, down. Switch, two, three, four. Again, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Let's do that again. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Step one, slide two, three, four, switch. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's do that again. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Step one, down, two, down. Let's connect all three. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and eight. Step one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight. Travel one, two, three, four. Again, five, six, seven, stop. Good. One more time from the top. Five, six, seven. Let's do this one slow. Let's keep eight. One, two, four, six, eight. Travel one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. 